Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. Salah Khan here. And today, discuss the Hamming code. Alright? We discuss the Hamming code. Alright? Uh, this code was given by a scientist named R. W. Hamming. And therefore, it is named after him, all right? It's called the name after the scientist that gave him, Hamming code. What is this Hamming code? We've seen the parity in the last lecture. This Hamming code is a combination of the original data to be transferred plus the parity bits, all right? So this is a combination of two things, the data bits and the parity bits. Alright, a combination of data bits and parity bits. Alright, now what are the number? How many data bits do we have? How many parity bits do we have? So the answer is simple. A 7 bit, 7 bit Hamming code is widely used. 7 bit Hamming code, seven bit code, all right? A seven bit Hamming code is widely used out of which four bits are for the data and three bits are for the parent. Now, we've seen how, wait, how, how many bits are parent in how many data, but what are the position of these bits now? The next question is, what are the position of these bits? So, so we see that through a formula, okay? So let's say we have these seven bits first. First, first I draw these seven bits, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, all right? So what is the position of these bits? So for the parity bits position, parity bit, we have a formula for parity bit which is 2 to the power m all right which m runs from 0 1 2 up to n and this n shows what this n shows the total number of parity bits n shows total number of parity bits So now in this case we have two to the power three. We have three. Uh, we have three uh, parity bits. So the position of the parity bits are determined like this: two to the power zero is one. So the first bit, the first bit is a parity bit. Let's say I name this one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. All right, I name this. So so the first bit is a is a parity bit. All right, then the next two to the power one is a two, so the second bit is also. Now two to the power two is a four, so the fourth bit. Two to the power three is an eight. We don't have an eight in this case, but if you have, you, you're using a longer Hamming code, so the eighth bit is the next parity bit. Now we stop till the four, okay? We stop till the four, so one, two, and four. So this is the parity bit 1, this is parity bit 2, and this is the third parity bit, which is P4. Alright? And, and the remaining, the remaining are what? They are the data bits. Which means this could be written as D3, D5, D6, and D7. So now this is the representation of a Hamming code. The total, overall representation, alright? Now this P1, P2 and P4, what does this depend on? So this P1, uh, okay, P2 and P4. So what does this depend on? So this P1 depends on this bit D3, D5 and D7. P2 depends on D3, D6 and D7 and P4 depends on D5, 
d6 and d7 all right now why is that or how is that so you need to ask all of you having all right you need to ask me because this is his code and this is the method that he devised all right okay so so we've seen the even parity in the odd parity let's say we are we have an example okay uh, a 1011 1011 is a number to be to be uh, transmitted let's say so we place it in the in the in the bits uh, in the data bits let's say this is a 1 this is a 0 this is a 1 and this is a 1 all right so if you have to transmit 1011 so with the help of a hamming code how do you transmit it so for that have a look now p1 what would be p1 if you're talking let's say of even parity let's say we are talking about the even parity okay so now p1 depends on d3 d5 and d7 so d3 is a 1 d5 is a 1 and d7 is a 1 which means that for making them even you have to make p1 a 1 so this p1 would be 1 now p2 depends on d3 d6 and d7 so d3 is 1 d6 is 0 and d7 is 1 so which means these are already even so you need to have a 0 over here at p2 all right and then for p4 d5 is a 1 d6 is 0 d7 is a 1 so again you have to put a 0 because these are even so so now you you understand that for transmitting 1 0 one one okay so in place of transmitting it directly with the hamming code by the help of hamming code you need to transmit a one zero one zero one zero one yes one zero one zero one zero one yes so this is what you need to transmit with the help of uh the 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 hamming code all right now how does this detect an error in the receiving code all right this hamming code also detects error in the receiving code we can okay so we see that through the next example all right now this is the example where we now uh, uh, could understand the, the, the Hamming code precisely that how does we we know that this bit ha has an error all right so this question is given to us if the seven bit Hamming code word received is this so the seven bit that we've discussed one zero one one zero one one all right assuming even parity even parity check if it is correct or it has an error all right and let me complete it that if uh, or, or write a shortcut locate the bit having error all right, so this is the code given to us. So let me draw a block like, like previously I, I have drawn. So in which let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay. So again, P1, P2, and P4. These were the one, two, and fourth bit would be parity. P1, P2 and p4 all right and then and the others would be the, the data bits uh that would be d3 d5 d6 and d7 all right so i write the code word inside it one zero one one zero one and uh zero here and then i have a one 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 all right so one zero one one zero one one okay so i've written it down now when this 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 code is received at the receivers and they check for the parity bits they check for what for the parity bits check for parity bits all right all right so we check and how do we check in in the in the parity check we we go from the left to right all right yeah, 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 yeah. It means that first we check p4 then we check p p2 and then we check p1 all right in checking we go from left to right all right 
which means first we check P4, then P2, and then P1. All right, so if we are checking P4, let's say, P4. So P4, we've seen, depends on uh, D, D, D5, D6, and D7. All right, yes, it depends on D5, D6, and D7. So now D5 is a 1, D6 is a 0, and D7 is a 1. And what is P4? So P4 is 1. So you place this one over here. Now we are given that this is an even parity state. But over here if you see, so now this is representing an odd parity state, alright? Which means this is wrong, alright? This, this, is, this has contradiction. Because this is now having an odd parity state. And here we are given to an even parity state. So in this case, when, when you have a, a what? You have a contradiction, so you place that parity beta 1. You don't place it a 1, you just write it a 1, so, so we, we will be using it, okay? P4 is a 1. You just write it like this. Or like whenever you have a contradiction, you write a 1. Okay? Now check, let's say, for P2. So P2 depends on what? It depends on D3, uh, D6, and D7, yes. So now D3 is what? It's uh, D3 is a 0, uh, D6 is a 0, and, and D7 is a 1. So now, now this, uh, and, and P2, P2 is also a 1. So this has now even, even number of 1, which means it's an even parity. And now this is not contradictory, all right? So which means you place a P2 equal to 0. If it's not contradictory, so you place a P2 equal to 0. And now you check for, for the last, let's say, P1. P1 depends on what? It depends on D3, D5, and D6. D3, D5, and D6. No, sorry. D3, D5, and D7. So D3 is a 0, uh, D5 is a 1, and D7 is a 1. So now, uh, and, and P1 is a 1. So now again, this has odd, odd number of 1, which is again contradictory. So which means you place this P1 equal to 1. Now by this placing, I did not mean to change these bits, all right, to change these parity bits. By this, I mean that we form a number now. We form a number like this, P4, P2, and P1. So this equals what? It equals 1, 0, 1. Now this is the most important number in this presentation with that we need. Okay, 1, 0, 1. All right? If you have a next parity bit P5, so you place over here a P5 and you place a P5 at the most significant position. All right? Now what does this 1, 0, 1 tells you? What do you think it tells you, huh? You don't know? Let me tell you. So this is in binary, okay? This is in binary. And if you convert it to, to decimal, 1, 0, 1 in, in, in binary is equal to 5 in decimals. You know that. And what does this 5 tell you now? It tells you that the bit number 5 in this Hamming code has an error. It is wrong. Okay? Which means this, D5. In place of being a 1, this should have been a 0, which means the original signal sent was 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1. This was the original signal sent, and we received this signal, all right? So we've checked, we, we, we've, uh, uh, and, and let me tell you one thing, that the Hamming code does not have anything to do with the error correction, all right? It's only used to locate that error. Now we've located that this bit has an error, this is wrong, it should be a zero, but it is a one. Now how it is made a zero, that's none of our business, all right? We only had to locate it. That's not the work of Hamming code and that's not our work to do as well. All right, so we've located it for them. So I should end it over here, I believe, or, or should, what do you say? Should I solve another example? 
I don't solve an example. I'll, I'll give it to you as a homework. All right. So let's say we have we have a signal one uh, z one one zero. No one 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 zero one zero one. All right. One two three four five six seven. Now this is let's say the 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 the. Uh, the received signal, the received Hamming code, all right? So you check this for an error. This is the received code. And let's say you have the same example, all right? If the 7-bit Hamming code received is this thing now, all right? So assuming even parity state, check if it is correct or wrong. Or if it is wrong, so locate the error. 1101. Now this is your homework to solve and you let me know in the comment section which bit in this code has an error. Alright, so that's all for today. See you in the next lecture very soon inshallah. Till then take care of yourselves and everyone around you. Goodbye.